Hey everyone, uh, long time no talk. And I'm slowly trying to fill in all the Compendium awards that have accumulated over this year. I greatly apologize to the people who um, supported tournaments, wanted in Tapo Talk. I'm a little late, uh, just being busy with everything. Um, so one of the topics that I got asked to talk about from the Big House 7 Compendium was about the Flat Earth Theory. And if you guys aren't familiar with it, it's to believe um, that the Earth is not necessarily spherical. Um, and this is a movement that's getting more widespread attention. Um, a famous basketball player, Kyrie Irving, is a big proponent of, um, of believing that the world is flat and that there's no really curvature. Now, um, of course, I myself don't really believe in flat earth theory. I believe the earth is spherical. I believe it's round. Um, I believe that we have more than enough evidence to support that the earth is spherical and not flat. Now, <clears throat> I did a little bit of research on what flat earth believer, um, proponents of flat earth theory believe in, and so that I don't misrepresent what they argue or what they believe in in regards to how the earth is shaped. I went to their website, the Flat Earth um, Society or TFES.org, and one of the big things that they really propose in this is to look around us and to see that everything around us is flat and to use our natural senses to kind of come to this conclusion that the world is flat and not spherical. And then they go on to talk about um, bringing some evidence down the road and, and in their wiki page, they bring in um, explanations to commonly held questions that would go to, you know, break down why flat earth, society, flat earth theory is false. Now, the first thing I want to really just explain is that they claim to use the Bedford level experiment. And basically what this is, is you, they went to this river, I believe that was um, six miles wide. And um, in theory, you know, if you take something that's that long, there should be some curvature if the earth is indeed spherical. If it's flat, then when we look at the two endpoints, it should be roughly the same. And now in initial findings, they said, aha, well, the Bedford level experiment indicates to us that there is no curvature, there's no fall or curve, even with a six mile stretch, so therefore the Earth is flat. Now, to use this as evidence is not really the greatest because what they didn't account for was um, atmospheric refraction or the change in density with respect to air and how that can change your reading. So what they did is they actually redid this experiment and they actually did find that when you look at a six mile stretch, that the curvature you find on both ends of a six mile river indeed matches what you would find, or if you were to count the numbers, it would, it would match roughly what you would think the drop in height levels would be if the earth was spherical and not flat. So right then and there, the website uses evidence that's actually not factually true. Now, when you further go down and they explain different things like, well, what about people who went to the moon or how do we explain the sun or how do we explain orbit? Um, I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty details of this, but you have to dismiss the fundamental law of physics for every explanation they do, whether it's angular momentum of the sun or how the moon moves around or the notion of gravity. Um, it all falls apart because you begin to have to reject basic laws of physics to try to adapt the worldview that the earth is flat. And so it all falls apart the more you look into this. And so I think it's a little bit ridiculous. I didn't know personally how to take this video, um, but to the person that paid the dollars to fund this Tafo talk, those are my thoughts on flat earth theory. Ridiculous shoddy evidence from the get go. And the more you research their claims and how they explain the universe and how the sun interacts with the earth, how the earth interacts with the sun and how the moon works and gravity, it just kind of just doesn't work at all. And those are my thoughts on flat earth theory.